Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we can create a daily sales report form in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this daily sales form wherein you can enter your daily sales to track your overall sales as well as today's sales. So what we have done here, we have put a date wherein we have put the today's formula. So automatically it will take the today's date and then we are showing here total quantity for today and total sales for today. We are showing here these charts also the quantity sold by the product and the total sales amount by the product and total sales by the sales representative. Now here what we are doing automatically it is taking the today's date on these records because we have put the equal to B4 which is today's date right. And here you have to enter the data manually like what time you made this sale, who was the sales representative, what product was sold and the quantity. Unit price and the total sales will be picked up automatically. Now let me show you how it will work. So on the new day, you, so these two are formulas. So we will remove only this data, just delete this. And now we will enter our data from the starting. Let's say on this day we start our sale and at 9 a.m. we made the first sale. Sales representative was this person and the product was this. Let's say quantity was two or three. And then automatically it will capture the unit price as well as the total sales. And the charts will be changed. Now let's say at 9.20 we made another sale this time sales representative was this one product let's say this one quantity was one and here you go so you can see that is capturing the product name as well as the quantity and here also we are getting that now third sale let's say 10 am and then we select here sales person name and product quantity was four Okay, so automatically it is capturing and you can see charts are also getting updated. Okay, so that is how you can enter your data as the sales are updated, sales are done. Then just update the time, update the salesperson name, the product and just put here quantity. Automatically it will take total sales and the unit price. Okay, so that is how we can enter the data here. Once your all sales are updated for today, then you just need to copy this data, including this date, just copy this, come to the dashboard database and come down at bottom and just paste as value, shift control and V. So your data will be updated here and everything is updated. You can fill down this month name formula here. So automatically it will take the month. Now come to the dashboard and here on the dashboard, we are showing the total sales, total quantity, total sales by sales representative, total sale by the sale product and total quantity sold by sale month and total sale by the sale month. Okay. So we are showing this information here on the basis of this database. And now on the next day, you can again make this clear and you can start entering the new data. So using this, what you can do, you can just see your today's sale as well as your overall sale, month wise sale, everything will appear here. Okay. Now I will show you how we have created this. So here, what we have done, we just have taken the today's here. We put the date and this is the today formula, which is returning today's date. Total quantity, what we have done, we have just put the sum formula from F16 till the end. Okay, so you can see F16 till the end sum of these quantity and here what we have done, we have taken this sum of total sale this one so that you can see what is the sale today so far and here we have created these three charts. So if I double click on this chart, then you can see it is just showing the range that is E15 to E100 or and the F15 to F100. Okay, which is the product name, this one E column and F is the quantity. Okay, so let me show you how you can create this. So let's insert a new chart here and uh, just go to the data range. And here let's select column E first for the product name. 
let's say till the end add another range and you, this time you can take the quantity click on ok then here you can just change the chart type as pie chart so this is what we have created here and you can make this 3d from the customize you can change the pie slice color as per your requirement let's say i'm taking this color and here you can take some other color okay like this you can change and you can put the chart title also from here so just go to the chart title and put the chart title is the quantity y product name and you can format this like align center uh, font size take around 14 and text take black and on the pie slice you can show uh, on the pie chart you can show the value on the slice level and you can move the legend at bottom okay so that is how we have created this chart similarly you can create this chart this chart we are taking from product column e and column h a column h is the total sale okay then we have converted this so let me show you again here in place of f let's take h and just say okay here just take the product name and take here total sales and aggregate this use the row 15 as header okay so it is showing it is showing the total sales so you can just change the chart type or you can just go to the change the chart type as donut so it will be a donut chart okay similarly we can create total sales by the sales representative this time you can take column d and column h and you can convert this just double click and let's take the column D here and column H is already there just click on OK and you can just take here chart type as war chart this one okay and then just take here sales representative name and the total sales okay so that is how we have created this one then you can change the colors and the other things from the series just take the color whatever you want like this and you can just show the data labels all right so that is how we have created this form now i will show you how we have created the database database is the same format date time and the other things we just have added the month and here the total sales is already coming so we can just copy this data and we can paste like i have just uh, explained and once it is done then on the dashboard what we have done we have created few cards and the charts let me show you so let's add a seat and I'm creating a new dashboard here. So first what we have done, we have created these two cards to create that. What you can do for the column A, just make it smaller and here just use merge cells, then take some other rows like this and use merge cells. Here we have taken the total sales and total quantity sold. This is total sales and total sales we will take this sum of from the database so total sales is available on column g just enter so this is total sales right just align this center and you can change the formatting as currency if you want align this middle this one also and then for this one you can make this slightly bigger and you can take any color here let's say lighter color this one and take here some darker color of the same theme and font take white okay so that is how we have created this and once it is there then you can just make the copy of this and you can paste that here and just make this a smaller and here you can take the total quantity and total quantity will be sum of from the database let's take the column e okay and you can change the color of this if you want let's say i'm saying i'm taking this color and take the same color here okay let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here and select the top header and just use merge cells and here you can fill some dark color 
font white let's take the area rounded font and just put here the dashboard header like dashboard or you can put any other text whatever you want align the center middle and bigger all right now we will create the charts like we have created here so to create the chart first chart let's say total sales by the sales represented hmm. just insert a chart blank chart and uh, just change the form range here just go to the database and take the sales representative column this one add another range and we'll take the total sales click on ok now let's aggregate this and use row 1 as header ok so this chart is ready this is what we have created here but this is the bar chart we have taken the column chart so you can just change this from the chart type let's take the bar chart and you can make this a smaller if you want to remove the grid lines just click here and just uncheck the major grid lines and go to the series if you want to change the color you can change the color and just add the data labels okay so this is ready now you can make this a smaller or you can adjust this as you want and you can just add the chart title also from here this is the total total sales by sales representative you can format this align this middle and font 14 and white black color font okay this is done this is what we have done here now you can make the copy of this and uh, you can show the same thing by product also just paste it here just double click and uh, come to the setup here we will change this range and we will take the product column so come to the database product is available on column D okay so we will take the column D range this one click on ok and just change this product name and take here total sales okay so this chart is also ready here you can change Y product this is what we have done here if you want to change the chart type just double click and change the chart type as this one okay now here we have taken this month this uh, product wise total quantity sold so you can just make the copy of this and paste that here and make this bigger just double click and change this product wise quantity sold so come to the database take the product here column d on this range and here we will take the quantity which is on column E click on ok so this is product wise quantity you can just change the chart title as well and now coming to this sheet you can see so the total sales by month and total quantity by month two more charts so let's make the copy of this or you can make the copy of this and paste that here and just make it smaller and place this here so one chart you can create for the quantity by month so just quantity is already there we can just delete this this is total sales right so come to the database this is quantity and take the month month is in the last this one select the month click on ok change the chart type and take here this area chart and quantity just take here month and take here quantity okay this chart is ready you can just place this here if you want to make the line smoothed customize chart style and make the smooth and from the series you can add the points size as 7px so you can see the markers also now make the copy of this and paste here and this time we can show the total sales so just double click and total sale is available on come to the database that is on column g this one click on ok and here if you don't want to show the area you can just take the line and you can make this a smooth all right so this is the total sale by month and this is the quantity by month
all right so that is how we have created this sales report form and the tracker in google sheets you can use this to track your daily sales it is quite useful all right friends so friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching